Hey everybody, Sevel here, and today we're going to be doing the source room from Try Hack Me, where we exploit a recent vulnerability and hack Webman, a web-based system configuration tool. This room is rated easy, and I will say it is probably the easiest uh, well, room I have done on Try Hack Me by far, and that's not a bad thing. It's actually a really nice refresher. I have taken a small little break from Try Hack Me just to kind of re-energize and um, kind of, uh, you know, take a, just a small little break for myself quality uh you know quality mental break and um this was a, a an awesome box to come back to and just kind of uh kind of get back in the groove of things so i really enjoyed it really nice box um and it does have a guided experience it does uh state that here it says it has a guided experience called attacker kb and i would highly recommend it if you have the time uh whether you do it before or after it really doesn't matter but you get to learn a little bit more about a site called attackerkb.com and on that site it has a plethora and we'll go there actually has a plethora of CVEs that you can use uh, at your discretion obviously but it gives some pretty good uh, information obviously the impact of the CVE it gives you some analysis papers of vulnerability details a rapid 7 analysis for the few that have it and you can use this you know obviously at your leisure and um, it, it, it happens to be an awesome awesome place to get you know information on CVEs that are available or that you can use to uh, get into those try hack me machines or hack the box or Vuln hub whatever it may be and um, it's it's really cool so if you have the if you have the time go through attacker KB and um, learn a little bit more other than what we're gonna see here in this box because it is only a very small portion um, of that of what you will learn in the guided experience so with that being said and without babbling on for too long um, as you can see I have completed this box already there is only one task in this room so it's gonna be pretty straightforward we only have to find the user flag and the root flag and so let's go ahead and hop right into it as you can see uh, enumerate and root the box attached to this task can you discover the source of the disruption and leverage it to take control so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and copy the IP address and let's get a nmap scan going I'm gonna use my go-to and that's gonna be nmap SC for default scripts, SV for enumerate all versions, and then we're going to output that to an nmap directory and call it openports.txt and then supply that IP address. I have already ran that, so we can go ahead and just cat that information out, and I'll do that now. And we see that we have two ports open. We have SSH on port 22 and then HTTP on port 10,000, which is hosting Webmin, and it gives us the version which is going to come in, uh, in handy when we need to do a Google search query to uh, find some exploits for Webmin here. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and head over to our IP address and supply the port 10,000 at the end there, and we'll get an error saying that this web server is running in SSL mode, so we're gonna need to also um, apply the HTTPS at the beginning, and once we accept the risk, if we need to, it's gonna bring us straight to the login for Webmin. So now, now we're faced with a new uh, a new problem here. We need to get by. We need to get we need to get a bypass through this through this login, right? Well, if we look at the page source, we don't see any code here that's going to be of use for us um, to maybe formulate a, a proper uh, brute force or anything that looks like uh, it could help us get through. And you could try um, almost anything. Almost, I I don't think you'll have uh, the greatest of time, or you'll waste probably too much time. However, we do know the version of Webmin that's running, so we can just formulate a uh, proper Google search query, and we should be able to find some information. So Webmin 1.890, and then we'll just uh, append exploit at the end of that. And the first link we get is actually um, an exploit, and it's from Webmin as to what happened. And it's basically just going over the fact that the version that we're running on the source actually was released with a backdoor that could allow anyone knowledge of it to execute commands as root. So um, and that's done through the password change CGI web directory. However, when we try to go here, we're actually going to get an error um, that it was linked to from an unknown URL, which appears to be outside the Webmin server, as you can see in this first little sentence here. And the only way for us to get that changed is to log in as root to edit the config file for Webmin and change the refers none variable to zero. And that obviously is impossible because we don't have root access and so we don't have access to that config file so we can't change the refers none variable to zero so with that being said we're gonna have to have um, a, a different a different way of, uh, of entry and we're gonna have to find some more information however we are in luck because if we just kind of um, alter this search query right here to something like rapid 7 
and we'll find that there is a backdoor that was used um, for the password change CGI directory and it's called um, exploit Unix webmin backdoor. Now I've tr I tried this, I actually had to go find it on uh, GitHub and download it and then import it into uh, Metasploit but it didn't work for me because obviously we're, ha we're getting this warning here. Now I did in my search find something totally different and then we're going to go to MSF console and I'm going to have to give myself a, a little slap on the hand there because I didn't take note of the of the link that I found and I'm just going to try this out of hopes and I don't believe it is but I found the exploit that I needed to use in order to bypass the login and actually get a root shell on this machine and it's pretty straightforward obviously especially because we're using Metasploit so it's going to be pretty easy from here so now that we have Metasploit up we're going to um, go ahead and get our exploit set up we're going to use exploit and then instead of using the um, the Unix web app webmin backdoor we're actually going to be using Linux HTTP webmin backdoor and with that we can show our options and then we just have a few things to fill out obviously we need to set the R host to our IP address which is 10103938 we need to set our L host and we can do that by just doing something like ton zero if you don't already know it and I'm gonna change the L port we don't have to but I'm just gonna change it to one of the second one of the best ports in the universe the second best port that is uh, to 9002 at least and that's gonna be 9001 and as you can see we have SSL here set to false and we know that it is communicating over SSL so we need to also set SSL to true now you would think that we're pretty much finished here because these are all the options that we have however we're not quite done there is one thing if you were to run this right now you would actually get an error and I'll go ahead and show that error it's gonna be the uh, force I believe force execution maybe or I guess not I guess it's just gonna go through for us and, and make me a, uh, to be a liar but that's okay that's fine with me uh, every time I tried this before it actually didn't go through and told me I needed to force uh, force it through so uh, with that being said, now that we have a command shell on this machine, we can do an ID and figure out that we are in fact root already. So we've just, you know, uh, kind of segued straight into the box as root. Uh, we don't have the best of, uh, of a shell, so we're going to go ahead and run shell to get us an interactive one. And we should just wait just a second, and now we should be able to do who am I, and now we, you can see we are still root. So we get a CD over to the root directory, and then cat root.txt. And as you can see, that is in fact the root flag. And we can go over to the uh, answers here and we see that uh, THM update your install. And then we can head over to uh, home, dark, and then we can cat the user.txt flag. And that is also, in fact, the user flag as well. So that is pretty much the box. Um, it, like I said, it is a really easy box. I certainly enjoyed it because it was the first box I did. Um, coming back to try hack me and coming back to just hacking in general so it was nice to just you know get a good refresher and just have something easy to do right off the bat instead of having to almost go crazy trying to find an answer for something so